Un, deux, trois. Hi everyone, welcome to the unboxing video for Trois Magazine. Oh no, it's a magazine, I've already lost the magazine. Here is the magazine, here is the magazine. Oh my goodness, here's the magazine. So I'm going to talk to you about this magazine and actually why it was so brilliant. When we were approached by Twa, they basically said to us they want to create something amazing for the DID community. They really wanted to represent the disorder as it should be represented and they wanted to hear it directly from people like us. So they actually created a magazine with 10 system stories inside. So you've got stories from 10 different systems, the journeys through therapy, the journeys coming to terms with this disorder, and it's like nothing I've ever seen before. And to our say that they they create articles of wisdom, real life tribulation, beauty, and everything in between. I really found that this was like a nice holistic magazine. It feels very raw, very real, and it's not like sensationalized media, which is such a break from the general press. I loved it, I loved reading everyone's accounts and actually I think one of the best things about this magazine is that it is actually word for word what we wrote in our article here next to the lovely dissociated. Um, yeah, it's just everything that we actually sent over was printed because we didn't expect that. Usually we send over something to the press somewhere, they kind of take what they want for it, edit it a little bit, you know, we didn't expect them to word for word <laughs> have everything that we wrote in there, so it was really lovely. It's such a nice breath of fresh air to have a magazine just be so real. You've got Jeremy and Alternate Perspective in here, the pinata system, as well as the Entropy system. You've also got the Labyrinth system. So some are big names on YouTube and others maybe sort of not so um, out there, but that that, I think, is what makes it so beautiful. And you've got others in there. You've got our dissociative life. You've got the Christian Chronicles. Oh my gosh, there's just... I was overwhelmed when I first read this and I, I saw so many names in here. It was completely overwhelming and unexpected. And what I love most, and I think the most powerful message is on the back, and it just sums up everything, and it is, you can still have a prosperous life even after being diagnosed. And I think that is such a wonderful message of hope to take home. If you'd like an in-depth look into different people dealing with dissociative disorders, it is an amazing magazine to pick up. This is also the December-January issue, issue 14, just in case you're watching this a bit later. <laughs> okay, so let's get on with the unboxing. This finally arrived, can I say. We had so many issues with the post because we um, had it sent to our PO box address only to find they didn't actually send a PO box addresses, and I'm not the magazine company, I mean um, the shipping company. So, oh my goodness, that that was a, a nightmare to fix. What have we got? Do, do, do. Oh. <laughs> oh no, it went a little everywhere. Oh, so there's a little card, and it says, uh, Hope you love them. Cheers to a happy and healthy 2019. Love, Ashley from B, Balm and Ash. Da, 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 da. Ooh, B, Balm and Ash for adult anxiety, which is organic coconut oil, lavender, bergamot, frankincense, yang yang. Apply to back of neck or wrist as needed. Very curious about the smell. B, Balm and Ash, can you guys see it? Oh my God, that's gorgeous. Like, because the essential oils that I have and that I use, they are just like essential oils and it's like, obviously you've got that really overpowering, I guess sometimes like old granny kind of smell. <laughs> um, but this is really, really refreshing. And it couldn't have come at a better time because this week, um, or around this time anyway, is kind of like our worst trauma week. So our anxiety has been through the roof. Um, and we've had a really difficult time with panic attacks, flashbacks, um, and those kind of effects, so this is honestly perfect. I'm gonna actually put a little bit on. Oh wow. It's just really like, it smells just really like natural and refreshing, kind of like if you were in a, if like kind of in like, if you were in like a forest, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Wow, that is gorgeous. Oh, and the other one is adult deep sleep. So obviously that'll be great for insomnia. 
um, to anyone who suffers with insomnia. If I can get it open. Oh, I'm gonna open. Okay, I managed to get it open. This is deep sleep. Okay. Ooh, it's much more spicy. And what's in this one? You've got coconut oil, vetiver, lavender, cedar wood, yang yang. Lang lang, yang lang? I don't actually know how to pronounce it. Whichever way you pronounce it. <laughs> I'm gonna put this on this wrist. Mmm. That's much more, like the lavender is a lot more potent in this one and this one's kind of more, and this one's like more gentle. But oh, either way, they're both gorgeous. So thank you very much, Ashley from Bee Balm and Ash. They're stunning. Absolutely love them. Thank you. Next we have <gasps> Apotha Purity Stress Be Gone Roll On Aromatherapy Relief Oil. Okay, so we hope you love your aromatherapy roll on with new crystal rollables from Alicia. Great. So this is a crystal roll on collection. There we are. Da, 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 da. I like the label. I like the um, logo. Oh, see, this one is like kind of similar to the nighttime one here. But it's kind of more floral. So, lavender, bergamot, and lang lang, yang yang. <laughs> Organic and vegan and pure. And it's got jojoba oil as well, essential oils, lavender, bergamot, patchouli, blood orange. I think that's what that is. It's like a little bit more zesty. And grapefruit and vitamin E. I'm going to put it on. I guess because they're kind of similar smells, I don't want to get them too mixed up. I'm going I'm to be covered in essential oils now. I'm going to put them here. Ooh, that's really nice on the skin. Oh, that's lovely. Oh my gosh. I actually didn't know you could get essential oils as roll-ons, so I'm really pleased now. <laughs> that's going to change everything. I'm so used to like sticking like essential oils on like the end of my sleeves. Um, and um, somebody really kindly just bought me one of these as well, which um, you basically, I forgot what they're called, oh my gosh, my mind at the moment, I'm so sorry, I have to apologise because my mind is blah recently. Um, but yeah, so these little rocks are like porous and you pop in the essential oils and it stays in your little bracelet, so I find that really grounding. And obviously just bracelets being bracelets, it's nice to sort of roll and play with as well. So um, yeah, I've been using essential oils a lot lately. So having a roll on is going to cure me of the need to like put it on my sleeves and wear, wear bracelets. So. so in ending the stigma of DID, Twa Magazine wanted to do a giveaway for DID books, which are the ones I'm going to go through with you guys today. So hopefully you'll have a chance of getting your hands on them. So Devorah here in the magazine uh, created a book called Connecting the Dots of a Disconnected Life and I'm going to play her clip for you here where she talks a little bit more in detail about her story. Hello, I'd like to thank you for reading my book. I, as you look through it, you're going to see that it covers a lot of different topics but perhaps at the center of the book is where I would like you to focus and that's the section called Fractures of the Soul. It begins leading up to the things that said something's going to have to break. But in Fractures of the Soul, I discuss that break and I share about how I received the diagnosis of DDNOS, a disassociative disorder not otherwise specified. And then the rest of the book shares about the ending of that therapeutic process and then what happened afterwards and how I got to where I am today. One thing I'd like to share with you is what happened when I got into things because I was terrified and I went to see a therapist and she said to me well, what do you want from me and I told her I want you to fix me well she said I can't do that and I said then what's the point of coming to you and she said you're here because you're standing at the edge of an abyss and you think you're gonna fall in and you're gonna die 
I'm going to help you jump in of your own free will and you're going to climb out whole and alive and you're going to have the tools to live. And that's what happened. There's nothing I enjoy more than encouraging others to find hope when they think everything is hopeless. And I hope that that's what my book does for you and for others. Enjoy. So I know, um, I know Devora was diagnosed with DDNOS, which is now called OSDD, so that's Other Specified Dissociative Disorder, originally called Dissociative Disorder, not otherwise specified. Why they have to make it so complicated and change the names, I don't know. So she'll give you a slightly different perspective than somebody dealing with DID directly, but I feel it's important because we don't really speak about OSDD enough. So that's that, that's, dis that's a true story of connecting the dots of a disconnected life, hope for a fractured soul. Okay, so I've been told um, this next book is quite triggering in the first chapter in particular. It's called And the Angel Rocked Me by Katie Jones. Um, and that's also a memoir of multiple personality. So um, at the moment, because we're having such a difficult time um, for us, I won't be able to read the first chapter. Um, but I think after some time, I'll be able to get back to it. I'll read you guys the blurb, but again, it might be a little bit triggering, so just to be aware, okay? Casey Jones endured countless atrocities as a child. Trapped in a world of unbearable cruelty, her mind shattered into alternate personalities, and she escaped into the arms of an angel. At age 20, she fled a torture chamber and found the strength to forgive her way in the world, thriving as a flight attendant who entertained passengers with her in-flight songs and antics. Um, and then it goes on. Heart-wrenching, hopeful, and filled with humour. And the angel that rocked me gives a glimpse into childhood trauma and the breakthroughs that are possible for those who endure. She is sharing the side of life that I've never been able to really talk about publicly and um, that is her childhood trauma and growing up within that sort of environment. Um, and it looks like that everything that she went through in life didn't really end even, to an, even into her adulthood. So it is quite triggering but it's very, very relatable I'm sure to many out there sadly. Oh my gosh! It's edited by Patricia Frankish and Valerie Sinison. And Valerie is one of the leading um, specialists here in the UK for dissociative disorders. So it's holistic therapy for people with dissociative identity disorder. Here we are. Oh, see, this is right up my street. So, this book puts forward a model of therapy and support for people with DID that provides in individual therapy, staff support, and a safe place to live. The model draws on the idea of John Balby in recognising attachment needs and providing a secure base. Amazing. So, um, but John Balby was the leader in attachment styles and attachments, attachment theory um, in childhood development, and it's part of the reason why you have to have DID um, because of disorganised attachments in childhood. You need trauma and disorganised attachments in order to have this disorder. It includes staff who are trained to provide a therapeutic environment also receive support to do their work. The fourth element after the base, the staff and the training, is the individual therapy. The contributors are involved in all elements of the process and include therapists, clients, staff, funders and managers of the service. Amazing. Amazing. I am very interested. Oh my gosh! I just had a little skip through. Male alters in a female body. Look, this see, relates to me already. <laughs> so the exciting thing about Toi is not only did they ask if I would talk about their magazine and some books and the aromatherapies that they would send out, but also that these are giveaway items. Okay, so you guys might be wondering as well, what is in the giveaway? So I'll tell you. The giveaway list is Connecting the Dots of a Disconnected Life. Dun, dun, dun. And The Angel That Rocked Me, which is a memoir of multiple personality. And then holistic therapy for people with DID. And you've got the two roll ons from Be Balm and Ash, which is adult anxiety and adult deep sleep. Okay, so the steps for the giveaway are simple. Number one, follow Twa magazine. Two, follow the companies and authors in the giveaway on Instagram. And three, answer the question asked on their giveaway post. And number four, comment on our video below with hashtag no more stigmas. Big thank you to Toir Magazine for doing this giveaway and of course for doing such an amazing article with so many features of people of DID in this. It is absolutely incredible. 
And for those who want to read the magazine, don't forget you can check them out online, which is boutiqueoftoire.com, and you can actually read this. It's an e-magazine as well as a physical copy. Yes, thank you ever so much for watching us, and big shout out again to Toire for just being such an amazing company. I really hope that we get more positive representation in the media such as this, because this has been an incredible step forward in my opinion. But yes, thank you ever so much for watching, and um, the PR unboxing video for Toire. And they are an amazing company, big shout out to them, you go guys! And let's keep our fingers crossed that we get more positive representation in the media from companies just like this. I'm going to practice some self care myself and take some aromatherapy oils, take a nice book and have a quiet read. But yes, thank you so much for watching everyone! Bye.